Welcome to a very special This Week on Windows, where today we've got big news. That's right. We're showing you all the things you can do with the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update rolling out today. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Akshi, and recently Microsoft announced Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. So in this video, let's review this. And should you really need to update this version of Windows? Well, let's find out in this video. First of all, we discuss some of the great features, then we will give our verdict and steps to get this on your computer. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, this is the desktop and it looks really like the old desktop. Now you have a new people's icon. So when you click on it, you will get certain contacts that you can pin. Now you can just go to the apps and you can pin the favorite contacts from your mail, your Skype uh, or even the people's app. So now let's find and pin contacts. This is my list and now let's add Pratik to the taskbar. All you have to do is just click once on the contact name. Once you do this, it will be pinned to the taskbar and now you will get an option. Either you want to connect through the people's app or the Skype app. I will prefer the Skype app. Well, it's your choice in which app do you communicate on Windows. Probably more apps will be coming soon, but I prefer the Skype app. So let's connect. You can see a mini Skype is loaded and now I can chat with him. Let's type hi. And there you have it at ascending. My internet connection is slow, so probably high is sent, and this way you can chat, and uh, you can, you know, uh, swipe between the contacts, you can even chat other contacts, I've already added two on the desktop, you can add as many as, now let's demonstrate that you can even move the folders or files to the contacts, so this is the file which I created, which is named as text, and I just move, drag and drop to the contact, and it is sent. It is as simple, but if the Skype contact doesn't have an email, it will give a prompt that you have to enter the email in order to send the files. So it either uses OneDrive or, uh, or the Outlook app actually to send attachments, which is good for work or even for home. Now it has a design language which is like a transparent uh, instead of vectors and now it has overall new looks. So the Cortana app now shows I have got more for you in the news and article instead of just news and article popping up directly with the launch Cortana. And now you have Cortana speaker section where you can buy Cortana speaker and attach just like Google Home. So this is all new home automation system uh, with the word the, with virtual voice which is top af now when you just go to windows settings a lot of new changes including the gaming section now in gaming section you got a new xbox networking side uh, where you can see the networking itself if you have an xbox at home probably this is very useful and you have true play which is an anti-cheat code built directly into windows to prevent games using cheats correct the another section is the Cortana section, which is probably not new, but there are a lot of new features and a lot of customization added to the Cortana in settings. So now there are a lot of customization, even you can give special access to files and folders or even app settings and permission settings. Also, you have new notification sync with your Android or iOS device. So now you can sync your notifications more on that later. The most important feature is linking your Android and iOS device to the Windows 10 computers. So you can sync app, you can sync notifications, you can answer notifications, you can start working on a special project with one file and a lot more features we will discuss now so the first of all you need to click on add a phone once you do this it will ask you for a phone number you just enter the phone number in the country code it will give you a message in which you can download the if you're on an android you can download this microsoft launcher and if you're on ios i have no idea about that let me know in the comments down below you have to link your microsoft launcher account with this uh, launcher once you do this you can see uh, it seems I am signed in and all my calendars so one note will be synced directly to the home screen which is nice and also when you go to my windows computer you can see my phone's just showing so will Xiaomi, Redmi, Note 4, so my Android device will just link successfully to the windows 10 computer so for this you need full screen to update so now let's start working on any microsoft app 
maybe it's word excel powerpoint OneNote, keep or anything and i have created a test document you can see that is name is document 2 and let's switch to mobile view you know so you can see this is a test file so i just created this for demonstration uh, now you can start uh, you know working on it you, know, so you can add more stuff or minimize it or maybe you can exit up so now let's um, exit this up so it's closing uh, and now when you will you know go to your computer and now you can see in the notifications panel it shows resume from your other devices so now you can actually resume from your other devices like I uh, just showing document 2 so the, the project that I started on my phone I can see it on my computer I can just click on on the prompt and click yes because it can be a harmful file of course but it is not a harmful file so click on yes and now that same document on your phone will be launched in full desktop application in the real time no upload no download no moving stuff everything instantly so now it's processing and you can see the same file on my Windows computer. So this is just phenomenal. Also, when you set up the Cortana app on your Android or iOS device, and you can sing notifications. So you can see notification of WhatsApp has arrived on my computer, and I even can reply it. That's cool. Of course, you need to give accessibility permissions to Cortana on your Android device. Once you do this, you can send and receive messages from your phone through your computer which is insanely very good i just enjoy doing that so now let's discuss some of our more features so the most important factor is about mixed reality in the windows 10 so this creator brings mixed reality to the real world so now you can see view 3d models in ecd mode and you can see from all directions and this is an example of the 3d model so now you can move your mouse it is better in touch and you can just drag and see the all direction so this is a 3d model so windows 10 brings a lot of 3d content and now even you can click on mix to reality so it will connect the virtual world with my real world which is my camera so this is my front camera of my laptop and now i can drop and uh, drag this duck and you resize it so let's move in one direction uh, even this is this is for me it's first time so I'm just figuring out how to do that so let's zoom in you can scroll the mouse or you can press the plus icon on the keyboard let's make it bigger and yeah now capture an image this is very cool so now you can actually uh, you know view the image file directly of the photos app which gets a major haul we will discuss soon so now it's loading up and also you can upload it to the mixed reality world so this is the photo that I captured and this is very nice so mixed reality virtual world and real world combined and it's just, it is also very smooth like it doesn't need this like it of course needs good hardware but of course my PC is old still it supports great Microsoft so now you can also go to Remix 3D. So Remix 3D is a 3D portal where all the people can upload or download the 3D vectors. From this you can actually like, uh, let, let's let give me an example. So it's loading up. So my internet connection is slow. So hold on a second for a bit. So now uh, it says hello here, get 3D models from Remix 3D. So it is an online portal where thousands of vectors are there. So let's get started. And it uses your Xbox Microsoft account to sign in. So let's sign in. So once you do this, you can see there is thousands of vectors models which you can add on your mix reality. And even you can upload your own which will demonstrate soon so lots of models now let's go to the 
paint 3d so now you can even edit this vector in paint 3d so paint 3d was actually announced in the last creators update but it has a major haul so now it works better with remix 3d and mixed reality mixed reality world so now in real time you can edit vectors on your paint 3d app so i'm new on it i was just giving it a try and it really came out to be nice so now you can just change the directions just take a brush I have no idea what to do but uh, like with the basic knowledge I'm trying to do that let's color the headphones uh, let's try W <laughs> for windows uh, nice it looks like it's really painting to the object <laughs> let's color it up this is a very weird color let me do some other brush let's take another brush there you have it let's take another color and boom red headset cool let's do that uh, to its mp3 player too what's mp3 i have no idea so let's call it yellow cool now this duck is colorful and let's connect color it, uh, color it red let's do some more fun <laughs> let's color green and boom there you have it very nice very beautiful i'm not good man like i'm worse at it but i'm just trying it it's really good experience so this is my version of the 3d model and there you have it colorful red yellow and orange and you can save as a print 3d pro object file even you can upload to the remix 3d as i said remix 3d is for so even you can create or edit to the 3d world which is a great addition uh, for communities to grow so now you can see it says my name choose the color and upload i won't do that uh, it was just a test let's close Another new feature is Windows 10 Mixed Reality Portal. So this is like the virtual world and the real world combining two together and you need a headset for that. So of course it is not supported by my hardware, of course it needs a good hardware and a compatible headset. So now I will demonstrate that with the Microsoft video coming on your screen right now. So that's a little bit about what mixed reality is. I know that you're part of the team that actually builds the experience. Uh, so what can you tell us about how it becomes real? Sure. Um, so when you turn on your laptop, you start with the desktop interface. Uh, the desktop is where the taskbar and start. When you turn on your Xbox, you start with the dashboard. When you turn on your phone, you have a start screen. And those are all great starting points for those devices. When you put on a Windows Mixed Reality device, you actually enter either a physical world with HoloLens or a virtual world with your virtual reality headsets. We call that the Mixed Reality Home. And in your virtual reality headset, uh, the first environment of many, we call Cliff House. And it's an actual house. It's a gorgeous, stunning house on the edge of a cliff, and it's Cliff House. And when you wear the device, you can actually navigate through this space. And again, as we were talking before, you can tap into how people navigate space. And so there's a theater room, which is beautiful. And you could put a 300-inch screen. You can have Netflix down there and just have this amazing experience. And one of my favorite things to do is you can actually wear this headset with your laptop on a plane and have a personal theater and just escape from your flight. Oh, that'll and be great for it, my bubble. <laughs> it is amazing, uh, especially with your loud neighbor next to you. Uh, but that's the personal theater space, if you will. But you have a productivity space, you have this beautiful outlook over this ocean, and you literally place apps, and you'll have about 20,000 apps from the Microsoft Store to choose from. So now there are some small changes to some of the features. So let's go to Control or Delete and gets to our old uh, task manager so now there are two new tabs options so in process tab if you go in the performance tab you can see now graphics card has been added which is very useful for editors and gamers you can see a starts for each graphics card and uh, you know, troubleshoot uh, very useful features you can show your temperature stats and stuff another feature is on microsoft edge now you can pin sites so let's browse the site like this is our beautiful website called yourtechshow.com so once you go this you can browse it as a normal or you can work it as a normal 
uh, you can create a forum you can create threads in our forum uh, you can browse text store and a lot more stuff and i'll just go to the three dot icon to the right so let's go to the three dot icon and when you click it you can see several options so now you have option to pin to the taskbar and pin to the start so when you do this your site will be popped up in the taskbar you can see our logo ptps and g logo there so now even if you close all the tabs you can just launch it as easy let's close all the tabs let's close the ceramic 3d so when you close everything and when you press the tdsmg icon you can pin any site of course you can even pin google sites uh, you can see the site is directly popped up of course this needs your microsoft edge to be default browser another great feature is in the photos app on windows uh, which will be demonstrated with another microsoft video coming to your screen now and one of the things you can see, I can stop right here and just push export and share and send that to the people pe people that matter most to me. Mm -hmm. Or I want to go a bit deeper under the hood and edit this video myself. So sure. I can just click edit the edit a copy button here. And you can see here's the video we've made. It's a very simple timeline. Mm -hmm. We have a card based theme so I can drag and drop these cards around. For any piece of content that can go in, I can adjust the duration of the clip. So I can say I want a different clip out of here. And I can apply custom filters so I can make look, look old timey, yeah. sepia, original, different themes. You can even add test, text effects. So I call this this donor road trip. You can put it on front of the screen. You can hide some of the content or not. Ooh, I kind of like oh, I that one. I do like that too, yeah. It's like a mask effect. And then more exciting is the new 3D special effects that we've added to videos. Really? To really bring your content to life. So I can show you what one of those things are like. If I take this video clip and just drop it in there. Sure. And that's a boring street sign. It is. Uh, it is kind of. <laughs> and it was a long, dry desert weekend and stuff like that. So we can spruce this up and say, hey, what would it have been like if there was some rain in there? And you can see we've got all these special oh effects gosh. in here. So I'll just say, I want to take some rain sure. and add it to the scene. Just like that and make sure it's the whole scene. And look, I'll play it back. And now we have rain. And it is a beautifully sunny, rainy day. Yes, and we seamlessly blend the special effects with the background content. We have some effects that apply to the whole scene, mm -hmm. and we have some effects that are more location-based or pinpointed on a specific area in the scene. Okay. So on that sunny, rainy day that you're talking about, I'll take a lightning bolt that comes out of the sky. Oh my gosh! It's a full 3D effect in here, so I can rotate it on X, Y, and Z axes oh and gosh. put it in space. Yeah. I can anchor it to that spot in the video, so yeah. even though the camera is moving around, the lightning bolt will be anchored to right where it goes. And then, just like that, I'll go a bit back in time, hit play, and out of the blue sky is a lightning bolt just hits the ground. Mind blown. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. How can everyone else get their hands on it? The good news, it's super easy. All the work we've done here to reimagine the Windows Photos app yeah. comes free to every. So overall, Windows 10 false creator update is great. You can download it. But of course, there are some bugs. Many people reported that their audio was not working. Of course, that's a driver issue. But make sure to take backup. And if it's your main computer, then wait uh, to, to Windows to automatically roll out the update. Uh, all you have to do is just search updates in the Cortana app. And you can click on check for updates. This is the default method that Windows recommends. Uh, but uh, if your internet is slow, or if you have turned off the updates in the past, then probably you can't download. So just go to the link in the video description of the Microsoft website and download this file. So when you click on update now, it will download the Windows 10 Update Assistant to your computer. So this app will actually check for updates and stuff and give you the latest version. So the Windows 10 version is like 17.999. Uh, so let's download it. Let's run. So I have already downloaded it, so I will just click on cancel and just go to the app. Let's search Windows 10 Update Assistant at Cortana. And this is the desktop app. Let's launch it. And now it will actually check for updates and give you the latest version on Windows. Just click on download now. Uh, it will take time for me to 6 hours. And then once it's updated, it will restart it several times. And then you uh, will be updated to the latest version of Windows. So that's pretty much for this video. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye now.